Hi everyone, I'm Paulette Morrissey from Tulip Square Studio and today um, I'm going to just show you very basically what quilt as you go is, that technique. Um, we've had a few customers and a couple of viewers ask us exactly what is what does that mean quilt as you go and so I'm just going to give you a real brief tutorial and show you step by step how quick and easy it is to do and I'll show you a couple of different little ways you can do these simple little strips and so let's go get to it. I'll head over to the sewing machine and get going. So we've had some people ask us what exactly is quilt as you go, if it could be explained in basic terms. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, what it means is you're quilting as you're piecing. So you're not piecing a top and then layering it with your backing and your batting and doing some kind of quilting to hold the, them all together. You start with your backing and batting first. So I've got my backing right side out and I'm putting that down here, face down, my batting on top of it. Um, use a piece of backing and batting a little bit bigger than what you want your finished item to be so you have room to trim it off to the right size. And I like to start with the first edge at least, the backing and batting um, lined up with each other and kind of the top two. The other two don't matter. But all it is is basically you're going to quilt as you put your as you do your piecing. It's quilting and piecing all in one step. So you start with a strip and you sew along this first edge. I've got the strip laying here right side up and I'm going to sew the outside edge just to the backing and the batting. And you want to keep your um, seams nice, even, quarter inch seams so that everything lines up nicely. So then you're going to take your second piece uh, and you, you these, are, these are all just strips you've cut. Um, the strips do not have to be a specific width. They can be narrow, they can be wider, they can be varied, it doesn't matter, but they all have to be more or less the same length. You can trim them right, you know, to the right length when you're done. But you take the second lay the second strip, regardless of how wide it is, and you put it on top of the first one so their left edges are lined up, top and bottom are lined up, and you sew a quarter inch seam right down this side here. And make sure you're doing nice even quarter inch seams. Like so. And then you take that second strip and you unfold it. And you can take this to your sewing machine if you want, but it's really not necessary. I just kind of finger press it down and just make sure you've got that seam opened up nicely. And then you take your next strip, right side down, line up the left edge, and sew your quarter inch seam. Like so. It's that easy. You just keep doing that all the way across the width of whatever it is you're making. You can make little squares, you can make these into pot holders, you can make placemats, you can make table runners, longer pieces, you can make pretty much anything you want to. I like this one is a little longer than the others, it doesn't matter, it'll just get trimmed off when they all get trimmed off together. I'm just gonna and all you do is just keep sewing the left edge unfolding that, that seam, sewing the next one. Okay, you just open that up. And you can see how easy that is to do. And if you look on the back, it's already nicely quilted. So you just go all the way across your whole piece like this until you get to the last edge and then I just sew, you just sew this last edge down. I didn't yet, I don't believe, but you can sew that last edge down. I've trimmed trimmed it down. This could be a placemat. Like I said, you could make it longer. It could be a runner. And you can also take these pieces, and once they're all quilted like this, you can cut other shapes out of it. Like you could cut oven mitts out of this, or 
tote bag pieces or whatever you want, but all the pieces are already quilted. You've already got a nice back on them, like for a tote bag and everything. There's your lining. So it's just a very simple method. Easy to do, quick to do, and remember, you can vary your widths. They don't have to all be the same. This is just all happened to be like two inch pieces that were some scraps I had laying around. But you don't have to have them all the same. You can you can go skinny, wider, 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 whatever you want. You can go alternate skinny and wide. Um, it th It's up to you. Here's a couple of other choices that I was playing with. This is one, also quilt as you go. And I just started with strips I made like this. And I, I have half of the strips have a red square at the top and the bottom and half have the blue at the top and bottom and so all I'm doing is sewing them down like this same thing sew along the left edge open it up and just keep doing that just make sure when you do something like this after you've made these squares um, when you're when you're ironing them make sure like I'm ironing all towards the red on these regardless of what color the ends are they're all red on the end so that when you put one next to the other, they nest, just like they would do if you were sewing them together, not as a quilt as you go. And um, make sure, as always, that you line up your seams when you're sewing them together. I would recommend, if you have one, that you use a walking foot when you do quilt as you go. It prevents the work from kind of wanting to drag downwards. Otherwise, it kind of wants to pull everything towards you a little bit more. If you don't have a, a walking foot and you're trying quilt as you go and you're finding that your pieces kind of are sort of working downwards a little bit so like each row ends up a little bit further down here and a little bit further down um, try alternating what direction you sew them down Sew this one down this way and then turn this and sew the next one down this way and then the third one down this way and you will even it out better but if you've got a walking foot I would recommend you use it so that's just another suggestion you can do pieces like that and here's one where I took some scraps and I sewed the scraps together in little strips. Now this, these straps, scraps do not have to all be uniform, but I'm kind of like that where everything has to be uniform. So I've got them all just like that. And then I alternated them with solid strips of white. And when it's done, it would make a nice little placemat or some kind of a top for something. And it's just another, just another thought, just to get your, your mind working on how easy quilt as you go is because it's just quilting as you're piecing so that when you're done piecing, you're also done quilting. So give it a try with some of your scraps. Don't be afraid to try it and get a little adventurous with it. It's kind of a fun, a fun technique, and I hope that explains it to those of you who are a little bewildered by it. It's really an easy technique. Okay, so now you all know how to do quilt as you go if you weren't really sure how to do it, and it's easy enough to do, and I there's you know ways you can add checks to it. You can add a little more interest with adding scraps and stripes and whatever. But it's very easy to do. And remember, you can vary the length and the width of your strips and make it more interesting. You can make a pattern of just two colors, whatever you want. It's just a nice, easy way to be doing your piecing and your quilting all at once. And when you're done, it's already quilted and you're ready to finish it. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it clears it up for you. And if you're interested, we have several patterns that all use the quilt as you go method. We've got an oven mitt pattern, we've got a laptop uh, bag pattern, uh, several runners, a couple of different bags and totes. Um, all of them are listed below in the description. And if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. And we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.